Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another edition of Man 25 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Today we start off in Foxborough where Devin McCordy is snagging his four verse play. He was running four verse trying to get a play there before the end of the half. We were baiting it the whole time and we get a nice interception there. Now play number nine, big man's got moves. Jared Cook Jr. is a tight end, but he's also one of the most athletic tight ends in the game as he completely shakes and bakes that guy, put him on the ground, and put up seven more points in that complete blow out there. Now play number eight. Will the real Maddie Ice please stand up? I'm not talking about Matt Ryan. I'm talking about Matt Scott here. Finding Justin Black with 15 seconds left for the go-ahead touchdown. He's got ice water in his veins. Now play number seven. Camping for a pick. Look at you at Harrison Smith there. Just standing until the last possible second. We go up and snag that pick. Get a nice animation to boot. And then Harrison Smith trying to make something happen here. And he's got some space until he loses the ball there. Flipping over trying to flip over an uh, offensive lineman or else that play probably would have been higher now play number six skying for the screen i'm running out of plays for these running out of names for these screen picks here um we sky for that one so we'll stick with that skying for the screen now play number five man down with three minutes left in the game eli's not in we got the backup quarterback and what a better connection than nasib to ruben randall get off of me orlando skandrick and that guy is hurt both physically and emotionally <laughs> now play number four super cam cam newton is one of the best athletes in the nfl and he demonstrates it here get off of me spin move and he accelerates and there goes cam that's your quarterback taking off for an 80 yard touchdown no one is catching him and cam gets in for the touchdown now play number three extreme ball hawk you would think Ed Reed was still in Baltimore with this play with the rookie Matt Elam here. This going right in front of Geno and getting the interception. And just the boot, Matt Elam says, you know what, with a few seconds left for halftime, let me give my team seven more points. There goes Elam, the 20, the 10, the 5, the end zone touchdown Baltimore. Now play number two. Julio Bulls a strike. Look at Julio Jones with no regard for any Cincinnati Bengal on the field. Boom! Ha! <laughs> Got him both. That's a strike. One other guy goes down. Roddy picks up the key block and Julio is in for the touchdown there to extend the lead. And that play number one is actually two plays here. And this is just RG3 being RG3 here. We're down one. Under a minute left in this muck game. Pressure coming. And RG3 does a 360 twirl there and throws it to San Antonio Holmes who breaks that tackle to boot and gets all the way near field goal range. And just to consider, just make us consider in field goal range, RG3 spins his way to get about nine extra yards there. What an effort by RG3. And along with San Antonio Holmes, but oh man, just clutch plays on the run there. That spin move was filthy. I bet you he's pretty mad about that. But we'll take this W here. So hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 25 Top 10 Plays of the Week. And I will catch you guys next time.